happy Tuesday. It's Love Yourself Tuesday. I truly pray that you're loving yourself each and every day. Okay, so I went and got it all cut off. I used to always wear my hair this short. I love it. Oh my gosh, you really see my silvers and I'm loving that. Um, to be honest with you, I was going for a different <laughs> style. I went in on Friday and that person absolutely did not know what he was doing and um, I just didn't let him complete it. Left and went to this other salon and said, you know, just do this. And So I'm very, very happy with it. Um, you know, I used to worry about what other, sorry, allergies, what other people would think um, if about my hair and to be honest, um, it's my hair and I don't care. So, um, I've been doing so great with my, um, new lifestyle change. It's not a diet. It's a lifestyle change. And without even trying, I fast 16 to 18 hours every day. Um, and now that I'm thinking about it, that was a norm for me anyway. And so my system just really likes that a lot. And I just, you know, I'm, careful on what I eat when I do eat um, so you know I, I do every now and then I'll go get a little ice cream or something and thank goodness I don't have anywhere to keep a big container because I know myself I would bring the big container and within a couple days it would be gone because I just love ice cream anyway um, a strange thing happened to me going to the beauty salon yesterday so I had like 45 minutes to wait and um, I was FaceTiming my daughter and here comes that person that I call my stalker and um, I was told my daughter, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, he's here, he just drove past me and he saw me and um, I see his taillights, he's backing up, he blocks me in from the front and there's vehicles on the side of me and uh, my uh, passenger windows down a little bit he's obviously very high he has a cane with him and he um proceeded to curse at me um he's always telling me i'm going to drink the water of his faith and um that what i believe in is not the truth and he's just really really deep into his sickness and um anyway i said could you please leave me alone and, just leave me alone stay out of my life I don't want to ever speak with you could you just go just leave oh boy he really got irate irate with me cursing took his cane was hitting my van I mean hard uh, he put a little ding on one side you know and uh, so I'm on the phone with 911 and they said try to back they're hearing him and they said we'll try to back out and I, I was trying to back out but there's like cars not letting me back out you know and um, he's charging at me with as I'm backing out he's coming up to hit my car and I was able to turn my van real quick and he just missed hitting me and he took off so I don't know if they ever caught up with him I thought about getting no restraining order, but the truth be told, it's only as good as piece of paper it's written on, right? Because um, where I'm at, no law enforcement is going to make it out here in time to protect me. I mean, at all. There's just no way. We only have a couple officers, excuse me, officers that they do a huge area. So um, from the sheriff's department. So I know a few people across the street. I know a couple guys that live on their boats here at the park. So um, we, we have a plan, and which is good. I only heard from that person. I'm sure it was him. I didn't answer. It was one time, and I just did not answer. And um, I didn't know. See, I had, had everything, spam calls and everything, unknown numbers and stuff, restricted numbers blocked. But the minute you make a 911 call on your cell phone, that is disabled. So you have to go back in and redo it. So lesson learned on that, but that's okay. So um, got my hair cut and I was just talking with the Lord and said, look, I, I need to also take care of my physical being, Father God. I do not want to be a number this person is so into his sickness 
He swears he sees me places. He swears that I'm demonic and that I'm invading his dreams and that I'm the cause of his life. Whatever. You know, things that are not going well for him. So, um, I was like, Lord, I, I need to get out of here. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. And I had a plan already to leave, but now it's going to be sooner. And I'm just not going to say where I'm going to just for safety reasons. You know, I never thought there would be a day I would have to do that, but, um, there is, and I am. And I'm actually, I'm excited because I know God's opening up these doors. More was revealed to me and I can't wait to share it, but I have to wait till it gets a little closer to it coming, you know, coming forward. So anyway, that was, guess what happened to me on the way to the beauty shop? Uh, that, that was very um, frightening. I, I was, I'm not going to lie. I, you know, like I was telling the officer, I mean, come on, gosh, I'm 61 years old. Who the heck goes through that? You know, but, um, and like they said, it, it's just happening more and more and it's, you know, the drugs that has a hold of people. So, you know, I continue to pray for that to be released, but whew, I'm done with that. So anyway, uh, yeah, it's my day off. It's a beautiful day. Had to run back into town for a minute this morning. Uh, something I noticed I didn't do. I generally, I wake up super early, like 4.30, you know, 4.45. I'm used to being up every morning. So I wake up and I open my door to get the fresh air. You know, I didn't even open my door to my van until I was ready to leave. Yeah. So I, I don't want to, I don't want to become a prisoner of my little tiny van. I, you know, so I'm definitely, you know, asking the Lord to help me with that because, you know, I know that's the enemy just trying to put that in my head. You know, it's like, oh, if we could get Gracie to, you know, feel uncomfortable. But I wanted to read this verse because it was so fitting in Psalms 91, you know, it's one through 16 and, um, it reads, he who dwells in the shelter of the most high will abide in the shadow of the almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Yes. For he will deliver you from the snares of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day. And there's more to that, but isn't that beautiful? That is so fitting for me, you know. So if <laughs> if you're feeling attacked, you know, if you have people doing things and you're like, what the heck is going on? You know, I truly believe, you know, new level, new devil, you know, God, he can't send us in into war. Oh, gosh, sorry. God cannot send us into war if if we're still drinking formula, right? If we're still breast milk. It doesn't work that way. We're not ready. He's not going to send us somewhere, you know, to battle until we are ready. And this has been two years just escalating and just uh, almost two years. And it's just um, now it's to the point to where I feel that my life could be endangered. So therefore, um, shaking it off. And I've been wanting to live here anyway. So you know, there's a few things I wanted to get done prior, but it looks like uh, I'll have to take care of that stuff in another state. So anyway, uh, I am excited for the new things that are coming. I'm excited for all the great changes that have been going on in my life. I'm excited to meet new people and to share the word of God. And, um, you know, you never know where God's going to take you, but I'm always excited and ready to embrace it. You know, there has been a time or two. It's, I have said, really, Lord, really, this is it, this is it. But no, that wasn't it. That was just a stepping stone to get me ready to go to the next level. So yeah, <laughs> God is a good God. You know, Satan has no power here, and I'm just not going to start feeding into that. And it, you know, um, and it doesn't help because people say, well, oh my gosh, you're a single female. And okay, well, okay, I might be a female, but I'm not like helpless. So 
and I have a plan. I also have protection within my van. I just don't want to use it. If I had to, I would, but um, I pray that it never comes to that. I don't want it to ever come to that. So, yeah. Okay, I hope you like digging my new hair. Look at that. Look at all them silvers. Holy moly. Yeah. That's like badge of honor there, baby. Anyway, God is good. God loves you. And I always say, you know, you don't have to stop anything you're doing to come to the Lord. You know, we have a good God. He already knows. He already knows if you have a drinking, you know, problem or if you're using drugs. He already knows that. He already knows that when I'm a hot mess. He knows this. He knows before I know this, right? Um, most of the time. So it's like, come on. Just come to him, you know. Man, I'm so glad I know him because... Truly, I could have been totally freaked out by this a year ago, a year and a half ago. And, you know, for that moment, I was like, I was, act I was like worried he was going to like destroy my van. And, um, cause I know he doesn't even have insurance. So I do, but I had to use it on the last time I got hit by someone. Oh my gosh. Anyway, God is good. God is great. I am definitely not complaining. I am embracing everything that's happening. Um, digging the new haircut, digging the weight loss, and just loving myself. Whew. I wish I could love me as much as God loves me. Would that not be amazing to love yourself as much as our Heavenly Father loves us? I wouldn't, I, I couldn't contain myself, not with that much love. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye! Okay, now, now I'll say goodbye the right way. Phone was going crazy, and um, so uh, anyway, God bless you, and much love to everyone. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I like to hear ways how you're loving yourself. Love yourself Tuesday. Come on, share share some of the ways you do that. Anyway, God bless. Talk to each of you soon. This is Gracie, and I'm out. Bye.